Hey there everyone, I'm Polkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time we got ourselves a badass freaking tricycle. Yeah, those are two words that doesn't really fit well together. Badass and tricycle. <laughs> and we also got two sacred texts. Yes, we did uh, optional side stuff, if you didn't guess that. <laughs> And today, we are gonna go back to Radisol with the boot disc. We are finally gonna make that baby fly! But as you see, I didn't really meet you guys back in Radisol. Or I didn't start the episode in Radisol. And that is because I really have some explaining to do. Why there hasn't been a video in the last couple of... Oh, actually, the last couple of days doesn't re really cut it. In almost a week, I should say. As you guys probably know already, because it seems like I try to sneak that in in every damn episode. I don't do that on purpose actually, it just happens. <laughs> I have a job now. You see? Did it again. <laughs> and uh, what I usually do is... I record videos for the days that I'm working on Sunday. Or either that, or I, uh, if I have some days off, I record in tho on those days. The problem though, last Sunday something came up and I only got to record a video for uh, for Monday. I was supposed to work on mon or I was supposed to work on Monday, Thursday and Friday this week. So I thought, okay, it's not the big deal. I I can record on Tuesday and Wednesday then when I when I uh, don't have to work. So I went to work on Monday and when I was done I was about to go home. My boss asked me if it was be if it was a if I was able to actually work on Tuesday, and I thought, crap, that's gonna be hard because I I don't re it's gonna be hard to actually have a video but then that day then because uh, recording after work it's not really fun for me because I am so freaking tired. I tried to record on uh, Monday, but it just... It was crap. I i shouldn't record after work, that's for sure. So I thought, okay, one day without a video, I guess it's not a big deal. I can still record on Wednesday, so... Okay, that's gonna be... That's gonna... I'm gonna be okay. So I went on to work on Tuesday, and of course, once again, when I was done... I was joking around with some of the people that I work with that I'm gonna sleep all the way to Thursday now. That is until the boss comes and says that you might have to work tomorrow too. Because uh, in the area where I live there's been a lot of fires lately. Fires that actually goes out, out of control and everything and uh, apparently one of the guys that I work with is a voluntary firefighter. Big time respect, by the way. And if he had to go and help with the fires, I had to cover for him at work. It wasn't really sure yet, though, because uh, maybe they got control of the fire until the, before the next day. Who knew? Fires are kind of unpredictable like that. <laughs> so I went to bed, and I, uh, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't get the call, but of course... Wednesday morning, my boss called me and he said, yeah, you have to work. So that's pretty much everything. The reason why there hasn't been a video in the last couple of days. I had to work surprisingly a lot. <laughs> I shouldn't complain though, because one day work is basically half the price of a Vita. And I really want to get a Vita now, so shouldn't be a problem now, <laughs> that's for sure. But... Uh, I also know that I'm gonna work the entire next week, but at least now I know, so I can actually record enough videos for for that. But <laughs> anyway, I guess I should come back to the game here. We are now back to Riker, so let's give him the boot disc. We have the boot disc. We've been waiting for it. We're all set here. How was training like? Are you familiar with Radisil now? Yes, I am. Thanks to Riker's training. Wow, you're... Effective, that's for sure. Well done. You were quick. Give that to the assistant. I bet the guy, the guy got a name, you know. <laughs> I'll take that. Please, stay back. Please, step back and don't interfere. 
Alrighty. Let's start. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Yes. Bring the auxiliary engine online. Set. The auxiliary engine minimum speed is at 1600 RPM. Get in gear! Sorry, I had to. It's one of my favorite seasons. <laughs> Gyroscopic st stabilizers online and stable. Proceed slowly at 0.5 forward velocity. Inject power into main engine. Change the auxiliary engine mode from stage 2 to straight stage 3 battle speed. Jesus Christ, this is... technical. <laughs> Starting up main engine gore. Change the accelerator en engine mode to stage 4 battle speed. Initiating main engine calibration protocol. Jesus. Prepare to bring main main engine online. Starting main engine power sequencers. Ten seconds to main engine ignition. Nine. Blah blah blah. Up to, down to one. Engaging main engine. Radazel, lift off. Oh boy. Ow! Okay, that was kind of cool. Actually, no, that was very cool. <laughs> Hatch interference complete. Hey. Hmm? Uh, yes, uh, hatch interference complete. Oh well, so far so good. We are here right now. Anaropolis called Ignacy should have a warp gate that can transport you to another Aeropolis. Ignacy, huh? Warp, bait? warp gate? A warp gate is like a door connecting one Aeropolis to another. It creates paths between distant places. So, basically, teleporting! Cool. Travel across the ether sphere and infiltrate the Aeropolis Ignacy. Your ultimate objective is to reach Dycroft. Oh, Ignacy. Oh boy. Remember to activate the anti-grav elevator. You can use it to travel between the Aether Sphere and, and Darishid. How do we operate it? The anti-grav elevator operates automatically if you stand on it. During the ancient wars, supplies were delivered up to the skies with this system. Huh. Sounds pretty handy. Use the anti-grav elevator when you need to go back down to the surface. Now, go on. Alrighty. Wow, that was a lot of technical stuff. Technical bullshit. <laughs> I like it though. It was kind of cool. But you would think that now that we... Well, Radisol is up in the air and all, we can go and do more stuff. Well, yes we can, but once again, since Radisol is now up in the air, as you see... The water has been drained, which means there's actually a little bit more stuff we can ex we can actually explore this place a little bit more, and there are actually some small items that we can get. But first, let's go in here. This is the anti-grab uh, teleport thingy, so let's uh, let's try it out. Well, that was cool. And now we have a permanent, uh, well, teleport, I guess, up to the, up to Riders Hall again. Very, very nice. Let's just hope no one just runs over the teleport pad and gets taken up to Riders Hall. That would be awkward. <laughs> but, yeah, as I said, items, let's go. Ah, the debris is gone too. That's a little bit weird, but okay. So, it's not really that many great items to get, but some of them are decent, I suppose. First of all, we have this, which is a garnet, which I... we have a garnet already? I can't even remember. Let's see, 5 defense. Eh, it's not that great. A jewel of power and victory. I, I really like how the, uh, the jewels work in the later games, really, when they actually all have one element. Like, the garnet is the fire one. Yeah, if, in the later games, yeah, you know, Fantasia had that too. <laughs> The jewels were uh, summoning jewels. I, I prefer that, but I guess I can't complain. I mean, 
A little bit more defense is helpful and all. <laughs> anyway, here we get a pine gel, but I can't carry more. Too bad. And we get a Vendini. Undini. I don't really know why they thought they had to change that. Isn't Undini like a... Uh, like a... Uh, very... Uh, oh, wow. I completely lost my train of thought. I mean, Odini, Ifrit, Shiva, uh, Shiva is not really with them, but they're deities of old. Why did they, why did they think they had to change that? I don't know. But as you see, we are actually back at the beginning already, so we don't need to go all the way around anymore. Thank God. <laughs> and let's see, there are one more room we can go to which have items, and I think it's down here. Uh, no, it's up here actually, I believe. Yes, there we go. We get a orange gel, okay. And a elixir. I'll gladly take an elixir. There's also a room you can go to if you want to heal up. But where was that? I can't even remember. Is it this room? No? Hmm. I actually can't remember where you where you want to go to uh, to find the healing room. So how about we just <laughs> look around? Yeah, I won't be going to the Ignacy in this part, just because, well, let's just say the Ignacy is not a fun place. But you'll see that later on. At least, I don't think so. A, a lot of people don't really mind it much, but uh, personally, no, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> If there's one thing that I think a lot of people agree with when it comes to this game is that the uh, the end game or uh, not end game but the late game dungeons are very annoying and very tedious. But yeah, this is the uh, the healing place. Yes, I want to rest. And we're fully healed, but we're still hungry. Come on, I had to do that. <laughs> totally looks like the the healing parts of a Chrono Trigger. But anyway, we have a little short video here, but uh, I think we should end this off because, well, as I said, the Ignacy, it deserves its own video. I'm just gonna go out here so you can see at least. And now we technically have a new world map. I will say I actually do like this though, and there's also new enemies of course. I mean, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Let's see, Dragon Knight, yeah, they're normal enemies now. Talk about great bosses, huh? Remember we fought this guy in the... Uh, in... Uh, wow, the Hidden Temple. Yes, that's it. And I should probably take away that uh, Rising Phoenix now since I... As I said, I don't think it's a very good skill, but it looks cool when you uh, combo it from uh, Dragon Blade. <laughs> and let's see. I completely forgot about you guys. I'll do something too. Ow. Yeah, okay. You know what? This doesn't work for me. I want my Tiger Blade back. Thank you. Tiger Blade might actually be even stronger than Rising Phoenix right now. Which is actually kind of sad. But anyway. The other enemy though... <laughs> I completely forgot there was another enemy there. As you saw, he flew around and basically drop missiles on us. That's, I believe that's pretty much the only thing they can do. I, I'll be honest, I can't really remember because I, uh, I don't really often go up here. <laughs> I guess I can say. But anyway, we have this little pyramid, pyramid-looking thing, and ooh, look at that. We're over uh, Cherik now. Cool. <laughs> I really like that you can see the world map under you. Nice little touch there. Really, really like it. <laughs> But next time we are gonna go to, or we're gonna enter this pyramid and we are gonna go through the Ignacy. Boy oh boy the Ignacy. <laughs> so I thank you all for watching and I see you all then.